Welcome to Aussie Indian and I have got the CEO of Cricket Australia, Mr. James Sutherland. Uh, James, thanks for finding time. Pleasure, Raj. Nice to see you. Uh, what uh, motivated you to put on this event? Look, I think uh, in, in the big picture what we're all about is, is growing cricket as Australia's favourite sport. And we understand, I guess, that Australia is continually changing as a multicultural uh, country and environment. And it's really important for, for those of different backgrounds to, to know and understand that we are open to understanding better ways in which people can access cricket. We believe cricket's a, a great sport, a fun sport, a safe environment for, uh, for Australian kids and I guess what we want to do is to make sure that we are communicating that as best as possible to, to all different multicultural communities around the country. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, the international sports are covered by commercial channels and uh, ABC and SBS, uh, whereas uh, the, uh, the grassroots level, like the club level and uh, grade cricket and so on and so forth, uh, do you think that uh, you would be able to give incentive to ethnic media like ours to cover uh, those grass grassroots level uh, cricket? Well, look, I think that's that's part of uh, I guess the message is uh, we want uh, we want more coverage, we want more exposure for all of the different levels of, of the game because the more, um, particularly for for network, networks like yourself, with, which is communicating to an Indian you know, an Indian community, um, we want everyone to understand more about. Uh, they're, they're the people of their community, that what they're achieving within within cricket and, and ways in which we can, um, I guess, broaden the understanding of cricket as a sport for all Australians. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, if I take uh, my own example, when I came here uh, 26 years back, uh, I couldn't find uh, my way to a club and uh, I couldn't put my children uh, to various sports because uh, the information was lacking. We are trying to bridge that yep. gap in information and encourage uh, the parents of uh, both boys and girls to uh, join the clubs and play more cricket. How can Cricket Australia facilitate that kind of an initiative? Yeah, it's a great question, Raj, and I think that I'd like to think that uh, we've come a long way. Uh, and there shouldn't really be any excuses in in this day and age where where we've got the internet, we've got um, we, we've got different forms of, of media um, access through uh, smartphones to to be able to download information about where kids can play cricket, uh, what's involved, um, who to contact, all of those sorts of things. That information is all now readily available, and and, and there shouldn't be any excuses. But um, to that end, that's one of the reasons why we have a gathering like we do today to talk to people in the media like yourself about uh, getting the information out, getting, getting the word out that, that cricket is open for everyone and, and we understand that there can be at times perceptions about cricket as perhaps a sport for only boys or men um, or perhaps men from certain backgrounds. That's not true at all and, and we want to break down any of those perceptions and make sure people understand where they need to go and what they need to do to, uh, to be embraced by cricket and to have great fun playing the game like we all have. Well, you also mentioned in your uh, presentation when you spoke that uh, uh, Australian cricket has uh, stayed uh, uh, predominantly white and uh, not too many ethnic communities are participating like if you take an example of uh, English cricket for example or South African uh, cricket which is so multicultural. Uh, what initiative Cricket Australia, this is a perception in the community that yeah. they don't get the same opportunity to train and to come up in the ladder to play for Australia, play for New South Wales, play for the state. Uh, what can Cricket Australia do to encourage these communities who have got so much talent to come forward and participate? And what role can we play in the ethnic media? Yeah, look, I think uh, as a starting point, we are uh, we're Australia in its um, in its multicultural growth as a nation is is a little bit behind a, a country like England, and and some of it's more inherent in South Africa as well. But um, what we're doing is we're I mean, in many ways, we're taking affirmative action here to ensure the opportunities are there for, for people to come. I mean, we've got great role models like Guzman Kawaja who's here and Lisa Stalaker. Um, in some ways, you know, they're an example to, to, to young kids of different backgrounds to say the, the opportunity is there. Um, and, and it does take, it does take the, the courage and the conviction and the dedication to, to work, work your way through. My club, in uh, my home club in Melbourne, uh, for example, Melbourne University Cricket Club has embraced Fawad Ahmed into the, into the team. And he's another great example, albeit a different background, um, but, but someone who, is, uh, who has been embraced by the Australian cricket community and again provides an example 
hopefully, for people to understand that, uh, that the opportunities are there. But we need to get better at that. We're not saying that uh, we're good at that and we want nothing more than for the Australian cricket team in the future to be representative of the, the, the uh, uh, representative face of the Australian multicultural community. As you also mentioned, sports is something, especially high profile sports like cricket, it can bring communities together by cutting across all the barriers, be it racial, be it ethnic or colour and so on and so forth. How can ethnic media play a part in bridging that gap and bringing those communities together, do you think? Well, I think um, in the first instance, I think it is, it is about you, you communicate directly to, to your, your own sector of the multicultural community. Uh, and it's, so on the first basis, it's, it's understanding the access of the game and the, the, the friendly and safe environment that cricket offers. But in a broader sense, it's also about celebrating cricket's diversity, um, celebrating um, cricket as, as something that is, is close to the, the heartbeat of this country, um, a genuinely national sport, a sport that um, dominates the summer landscape and in many ways um, to, to, be, to be a part of the Australian community is to, to be a part of cricket as well. Um, and, yeah, and, and I think that's a message that um, ideally down the track I would like um, I would like um, your your listeners or your 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 viewers to to, to really understand and um, and the same with with others uh, as we gather people from all different uh, segments of the the media community today. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see more of this initiative in future? And if there is one final message for the ethnic media? Yeah, look, absolutely. This is part of. I mean, we've we've appointed people specifically within Cricket Australia to to take on responsibilities around community engagement. We have a broad strategy um, but we have then specifically community engagement for um, community engagement strategies for um, for females for indigenous communities for multicultural communities for those who um, who are perhaps somewhat disadvantaged by, by disability as well making sure that we're true to our word around cricket being a sport for all James, thanks very much for talking to us